Hi everyone, my name's Elias. My name's Chris. And we are in our Airstream, and we are camping in upstate New York, and we're uh, trying a new thing here where we stream from our Airstream, and we're called, can you guess what it is? Airstreamers. Airstreamers, because we're clever. clever. Really <laughs> clever. So right now what we're going to do is play a little bit of Clubhouse 51 games worldwide classics for the Nintendo Switch. And we're going to start with Yacht Dice, which is kind of like Yahtzee. I mean, it's exactly like Yahtzee. I mean, we're just going to go in for the jugular, starting with Yacht Dice. Oh, do you want to do something else? What do you want to start with? I mean, maybe something a little... Let's like do Gomoku. Gomoku. Yeah, Gomoku, Gomoku is a game where you have to match five uh, little pegs if you're black or white, and you could do up, down, left, and right, or diagonal, and uh, they can creep up on you if you don't know what you're doing. So, I want this block of wood. Yeah, it looks very good. It's almost like... It looks like a block of cheese, like I want to slice pieces off of it and just eat it on a sandwich. So where's my cheese? <laughs> That's a good question. Where is my cheese? Maybe when we visit Wisconsin, we can just get some... We don't have plans yet for Wisconsin. I, you know I can't say that name. Why? Legit. Because I want to say... You're going to, like, make fun of me. I want to say Wisconsin, but it's not, I obviously. Mean, it's it's Wisconsin. If your state is all about cheese, you're winning. Correct. Which so is why I want to say Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I see what you're doing here. I don't know what you're talking about. So if you're watching and you recognize, uh, or if you don't recognize what we're doing, rather, if you, if either one of us have four of our color in an up, down, left, right, or diagonal fashion, we will automatically win if both sides are free, because then that means the other person can't block you at all. They could block one side, but the other side is free. So keep a lookout for either one of us. Yeah, don't be shady about it either. I think I just won. No. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you just won. They've talked about this one. So look, if I put one here, I'll block his three, but I can't block his fourth there. You literally just fucking won this shit. <sighs> yep. There it is. And you win. <laughs> At least it's cooler tonight. It's been so hot lately, and I don't know if you guys can hear us with the fan on. Oh yeah, do you mind turn, turn it off? off? Yeah, I think you should. And we're really suffering. Yeah, be right back in just a sec. All right, and we are back in business. And we are going to move on, or do you want to play another game? No, we can move on. Can we? Let's have a little action to keep people interested. Do you want to play a quick Mario Kart or something? Or do you want to stick with Clubhouse? Stick with this, because that's going to be a lot to maneuver. Oh, you don't have? No. Let's do a round of Yacht Dice and then we'll play Mario Kart. Yacht okay. Dice. So, this is a pretty nice campsite. Oh I'm my god. Loving it. <laughs> How long has that been there? <laughs> Just for a few seconds as we came back from the break. So okay. this is basically poker with dice. Period. And if you don't know what poker is, um, shame on you. I'm I'm just kidding. Go to wiki. 
Um, but you'll see on the left, there's a scorecard. On the top is three ones, three twos, three threes, three fours, and so on and so forth. If you get all of those, you'll get 63 points plus 35. At the bottom, you'll see things like four of a kind, full house, small straight, large straight, and yacht. Yacht means that all five of your dice are the same number, and then four of a kind is like four of a kind, and you know, you can figure the rest out. So, I've got garbage. One, two, three, I don't know what to do. Four, no, I don't five. Know. Yeah, you can. Then I can do, no, actually, no, this is terrible, because I just need a three, and I... Wait, I'm just going to close this event so that all of these bugs don't come in here. Because, you know, we're, like, in the wilderness right now, and you know how that is. Why bugs are coming in here, though? Yeah, it's just a little, like... There's a screen up, but it's not... Oh, shit. Look at this. I think I'm going to take these sixes. Because I just want to make sure that I get that top part. Yeah. <sighs> I'll go for fives. No. Yeah, there's so like a ton we... of bugs on you. Yeah, I know. It's like worse than like when we were hiking before. We went oh on this really that was awesome hike. But it was so buggy. Um. Oh. You have a full like house. Do, yeah. Like <laughs> it told you that. <laughs> I didn't see it. It was a, just suggesting that I had a full house. I have a full house too, but I'm gonna actually do this. I'm gonna take these twos and I'm gonna try for a yacht. Yeah, I'm that. Try. I really. Tuckered me out. I'm like an occasional grandpa. It tuckered you out. Yeah. Um, we have been on a RuPaul's Drag Race kick, and we've been watching all the seasons from season one. We're currently on season nine, and anytime I'll ever hear the word tuck, I will think of drag queens tucking their penis. Yeah, that sounds painful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... Look at these bugs everywhere. So, what do I want to Should I close do? this side window, too? I don't think those windows are doing anything problematic. No, it's the same screen. We're invested. Um... Let's go for fives. I mean, this is what you get living in the wilderness. Okay, I'm going for fours instead. <sighs> oh, perfect. Small straight. That's exactly what I planned for. Jeez, there's gonna be... I'm gonna be r riddled with bugs. Oh, sweet. Look at it. Well, do the Mr. Miyagi thing. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm, uh, weirdly coordinated, uh, enough to catch flies. It's in my upbringing when I grew up in the Ukraine. Ukraine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I just Ukrained it. Wait, no, he was from Japan. No, I'm not saying that. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay, I need one more five. <laughs> and that's the I'm bag. allergic to bugs. So what time is it? <laughs> Quiet hours? Am I allowed to sneeze during quiet hours? Why don't you share the story of quiet hours? 
We're not the best at following rules. That's the story. Yeah. Full I stop. Mean, that's. I'll share the story. No, um, I guess I'll take. I'm thinking, like, am I, should I take a choice? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, God. I guess. So, we are at a campsite in Pennsylvania where you're not allowed to drink. This was before. Four? Which is our airstream? No, we had the airstream. Oh, right, right, yeah. Which. Why. Well, why shouldn't we be drinking outside? I mean, that's why you go camping. You literally go camping to drink. A hundred percent. So, we're sitting outside at the campfire. We had like three campsites. We were with two other um, sets of friends. And. They, oh my god, infestation. Yeah, what is going on? This is a problem. Yeah. Bugs. Bugs in the stream. Um, so we're sitting outside with wine by campfire. Oh, wow. I'm gonna just take this, because that's a garbage for the time. There's so many bugs in the way, I can't even see the screen. Yeah. It's like pixelated. Mm-hmm. I have gotten 4,000 sixes. Uh, oh, that's such a problem. Like a struggle. Mm-hmm. So, we're sitting outside drinking wine with some friends, and all of a sudden, two figures emerge from the fog. Out of nowhere. Yeah, and ask us what we're drinking, and it turns out that there are park rangers asking us, like, to basically agree that we're drinking alcohol. And I'm like, oh, we're just drinking what, grape juice or something? Yeah, you said we're just drinking juice. You didn't say grape juice. That would be well, so uh, obvious. I mean, juice... What? I don't know. No, you didn't even say juice. You just said, like, what are you drinking? And you're like, oh, like, we're just drinking... Drinks. Drinks, yeah, whatever you said. And then he's like, oh, well, what about that wine bottle? Yeah, and, and I'm like, I didn't know what to say. And our friend was like, oh, we were just cooking with that, which I thought was genius. Brilliant. I mean, like... I mean, nothing... Oh, I thought that was something good. I've never heard of such a good immediate comeback. It was like an improv skit. Yeah, and so then that happened, and he's like, you know you're not allowed to drink in Pennsylvania on a state campground, which, like, why? Should I have... We should have had a discussion there. Like, why is that the case? Why can't you drink? Because really, it's not illegal to drink, and it's not public intoxication because we're renting that space. Yeah, I I mean, so the the it, kicker though was the timing, the time of it all, the reason why we were even presented with an issue. Oh, because that asshole group next to us was probably complaining because they were grumpy old people that didn't want to. They were pissed that we were having fun, and you were probably talking loudly. In case you don't know, which you don't because you're not watching, but I... And have never watched because this is our first stream. And you'll likely never watch. <laughs> but I am a very loud talker. Um, I just am naturally very animated. With my hand gestures, right now I'm holding a Joy-Con, so it's hard for me to, like, fully get in the zone. And I'm not Ukrainian, by the way, I'm Greek. I was trying to make a joke and missed it. I didn't know that was a joke. I well, then thought that's, you uh, had like a secret identity that you accidentally revealed. Yeah, in 13 years of being together. That I just found out on our first, I mean, you heard it here. Literally Airstream exclusive. <laughs> no, Elias is Ukrainian. Airstreamers exclusive. Oh, okay. Yeah, Airstreamers. Uh, I'm still getting used to it. You'll get used to it too, all zero of you. Yeah. 
I was trying to have you go with me being Ukrainian, and it didn't work. I mean, how do I respond to that? I mean, is it maybe... What's a Ukrainian stereotype that I can play off well, of? Well, like, Ru Russian. They just sort of recently... I mean, I think that's offensive. I don't think that Ukrainian and Russian are the same things. I think they want to be different. I apologize to any Ukrainians. Ukrainians. All zero of you. Yeah. Of the larger zero group. Oh my god, I have so many... I mean, should I just get the bonus now? I think so. I did it. The majority of the zeros. <laughs> we have a very strong following from Ukraine. Listen. Zero percent of the zero. So I learned, and I might be wrong, and I apologize to all the zeros out there. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do this. I meant to do threes. But I... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I got it. No, you didn't. I think I got it. I think nobody got it. In Eurovision, in Europe, Russia can... Um, participate even though they're not European and so can Ukraine and I I'm, thought, but Ukraine is not part of the European Union or they've asked to and they've just never been entered I don't know the answer to any of that but I will say that one of my favorite Eurovision artists from the past I recently learned is Ukrainian so I might have more ties to Ukraine than you think that I do. Okay, so let's pause on the European Union discussion because we're going to go negative with viewers. And <laughs> let's talk, finish the story about how we were drinking illegally in um, Pennsylvania. So he, our friend tells the story that we're cooking with wine, which, I mean, let's be honest, we've probably never done before. And while we cooked with wine, like, present in the room. Yeah, I mean, cooked as in, like, your friend is there and... You're, like, on your third bottle of wine. Your third each. friend. <laughs> and so that didn't fly with the mm. Mr. Officer Nasty and... Officer Nasty. <laughs> What ended up happening is they wrote me a warning, which I don't know. What does that mean? Am I like, is my picture somewhere in the park ranger office that if you see this man with <laughs> wine, arrest him? Like, where does that go? What you know those that... pictures we saw today with the bear information where it's like, if you see a bear, do Oh, that's this. another story about yeah. another trip, but that will not leave that for... We'll leave that tune for that in. future tune content. In, yeah, tune in... All zero of you tune in in next week. But you know what I'm saying about how we saw those signs? Maybe there are signs of you and your face out there that says, like, if you see this man... That's what I'm saying. Citizens arrest him because mm -hmm. he was drinking wine on, on, a campground. on a campground. And he was drinking wine at quiet hours and being a disturbance at 9.01 when quiet hours were 9 o'clock. Yeah. PM. Which I mean, who's I'm going awful. to bed at 9 p.m.? I'm awful. So Just anyway, the worst. I think, actually, you know what? Probably the strongest moment that I've ever had as a person is after he left, I threw the citation in the fire. You did. That was like, it, tur <laughs> it, 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 it turned me on. <laughs> is what it did. Oh, yes. Full house. Oh, wait. You have that. Frig. I got, I got to get rid of this. Well, I just don't understand why we have no followers, because this is just gold. Anyway, it was a good time, minus the warrant wanted poster of me. So, I mean, how many, like, listen, those warnings that they're writing... Where are they going? It costs money to print those tickets, and they're carbon copy tickets. Like, I got a copy, he got a copy, the clerk got a copy... I mean, everybody got a copy. This was like an Oprah situation where everybody knew that I got a citation that day. Can you explain and, the Oprah situation? Because that's quite a stretch. 
I mean, Oprah, when she's like, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Yeah, Everybody you get that. a citation, you get a citation, you yeah. get a citation is a better way to describe the Oprah joke. Listen, everybody got it. And so... Yeah, the majority of the zeros did not get it. They got it because everybody, all zeros on this stream right now, got a copy of the citation previous <laughs> to the stream. <laughs> But I, what I'm saying is, if they write that, oh, like, yeah, that's probably not the best move. If they're printing all of these things and making booklets for all of these officers, and ultimately, what is coming of this? Who is actually changing their yes. behavior from this citation that's wrote, written? Then, I oh, I win. win. Yeah, you can't win. You can't win. Then why don't they just save the money and not print them, and just let people fucking drink on the campsite? I think the most important thing is to recognize that the ancient, this is terrible. the ancient Greek gods were all about. Yeah, Dionysus. Or yeah. Dionysus, or whatever her name was. His. Dionysus was a man, wasn't it? I thought it was a party woman. Okay, so one of you zeros tell us what the deal is about Dionysus. Yeah, met I'm pretty sure it's a man, and I'm pretty sure Dionysus was the god of. Food, I mean, f uh, goddess food and... and drink. Yeah. Or maybe it was the Roman. I mean, the Romans stole everything and then made it their own, and then just, they were like, eh, that person's probably a woman. Yeah. Um, okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to play Mario Kart? We just have to run it down I mean, really quick to get that. Let's do a slot cars. Like, grab it from the car? From the trunk? I think it's in the trunk. Yeah. But can you do slot cars first? Yeah. Slot cars. I mean, this is really gold content, so thank you for all zero of you for tuning in. Yeah, do we have any, like, secret followers? What's a secret no. follower? Okay, let's go. <sighs> I mean, we're sweating in here because we turned the fan off so you could hear us, and nobody's even listening. You gotta do LR. How do you accelerate? Where do we want to visit next? Oh wow, I saw you, you're... I'm just... Speed Racer right now. Yeah, you need to tone it down. No, you can actually use the analog and just follow the map, follow the road. Not A, but use the analog. And I feel really good about it. I mean, you're literally like six laps behind me. You're blue, I hope you... Oh, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What a trick! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, never mind, folks. I thought I was the, like, master at this game. Okay, well, let's do one more now that I know what color I am, because that was embarrassing as shit. Yeah, because then we need to do a be right back. I have some vodka that I'm hiding in the car, because that's where all good people yeah, hide vodka, uh, like... I guess. At least in New York, you can drink on um, campgrounds. Not while you're driving. Oh, yeah, well, New no, York, you can. Yeah. Oh, wait, no? Can you? I Actually, don't I don't think that's the case, either. Jersey, you can. Wait, what color am I? You're blue. Oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. Oh, friggin' shitholes. You know, last time I didn't fall off once, and now you've got your my mojo. Stella got her groove back, and you know it's really weird. When I was sitting in the hammock today, I was reading um, Chelsea. Uh, I'm sorry, not Chelsea. Uh, oh Sarah God. Colonna's book. What? They're not the same person. No, I know, but she referenced the, um, Chelsea Handler in this. But anyway, I was reading Sarah Colonna's book. 
and she mentioned how she had a date with one man and then a date with another man and she was like there was, I highlighted it but it was something like I wonder if this is what Stella felt when she got her group back what was the one I think there was a Who movie won that one? um Oh my god, we're even, so we have to play one more to fix okay. it. Let's play Mankawa. Or no, let's play... Tokomochi or whatever the one... It's... It looks like donuts, but it's Takoyaki? really... Takoyaki? Yeah, it's donuts, but... Or wait, it looks no, like donuts. donuts. <laughs> but it's really... Octopus? Mm -hmm. So, this game is called 51 Clubhouse Games Worldwide Classics, and what it does is it, like, gives you um, insight into some of the games from around the world, and so this game is, I guess, a Japanese game. And in Japan, I watched, I went down, like, a rabbit hole and watched videos of them making takoyaki, but they have these pans, and so you need to, like, pop the squid ball as, like, it's ready to be fried and popped. I think so, it would be better if they just made it. So in this case, like my 10, this represents the 10 spot. So I'm allowed to flip over this card. Now this two represents the two spot. So I'm allowed to flip over this card and so on and so forth. And I keep going and you can hear the sound of the um, takoyaki frying. Oh my God, I'm just like, oh my, I mean, this is. Oh I mean, my god. Fuck? Oh my god. Play? Oh my god. My takoyaki is the best ever. If it was. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh my god. If. If it was like donuts, I think that it would be a better game. I can't even see where what my numbers are. Hmm? Here we go, give me a jack, or, um, sorry, not a jack, a joker. A joker you can put wherever you want. So right now I'm looking for a four. Yep. Hmm? Nope. You know what I'm saying, though? No, I mean, it Oh, like... here we go, I won. <laughs> I, ooh, I am the winner. What was that? Tanki? Tanki? Oh, is that what he said? Or yeah. she? Or like, they? if they... Look at that! It looks delicious! It's like a... It, it does. looks like a donut, like It a... looks like a lukumada, or whatever it is, the Greek thing. Yeah, or Ukrainian, I don't really know. No, it's but Greek! It's... <laughs> you know who I am, I'm not a... It's, I mean, crazy do person. I know? Okay, but can you no, please run to the car and grab it. Mario Kart? Yeah, that's fine, but it looks like if you have a plain munchkin, okay. I'm looking at the takoyaki. Yeah, but they are looking at it. It's like a munchkin with a chocolate ganache on it and like a little bit of peanut butter and you're sucking the cream filling out through a straw. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But it's really squid balls and like that's that's Literally. a fucking cock tease. But it's not though. So what it is is it, it's actually a cakey thing and then they take a piece of squid and put it on top of it and then the whole cakey thing gets fried oh, and great. then they flip it over. Because everybody wants a fucking squid cake. That's what takoyaki is. And so then when it's time, they takoyaki. flip it over and it and it creates like a little cake of squid, I guess. I mean, guys, it's so hot in here that my cup is sweating. And with that said, we're going to be back in just a minute, okay, all so zero of you. I'm going to get some vodka. Can you grab a bowl, uh, um, like a something to put some chips in from the car? What kind of chips? Like, surprise me. Okay, we're gonna be right back. Well, I can only carry so many things.
Okay, and we're back, and here we are. We're we are. just loading up my Ricardi Deluxe. And we're liquored up. Chris thinks he saw a bear out in the woods just a moment ago. Like, not nearby, but like... I saw it, like... It was like Yogi. Like, eating something out of somebody else's... Wait. Legit? You just told me that you thought you saw a bear, and now you're explaining that, like, it was eating... No, it was legit. Like, you know those really dainty picnic baskets? Yeah, like the... That have, like, the, the wooden ones, ones that yeah. have the flaps that come up yeah. and the, like, checkered p pattern around them? Well, there was one that was, like, peeking into it on somebody else's... Campsite. I mean, how big was the bear? And they really, honestly, that's their own fault because they should not have left a fancy basket like that out after hours. Folks, for anyone who's watching, again, all zero of you, if you go camping, please be aware that you need to make sure that your shit is gone. Any edible food item needs to be put into storage, in a car, in your Airstream, in a cooler. Yeah, not in a dainty basket. If they had a Yeti and they like locked it, yeah. then that's fine because those are like bear proof. They are bear proof. They were designed that way. But not a dainty basket on your on your picnic all, table. All that the bear would need to do is knock the basket over and yes. I mean, it doesn't have to do anything. It just has to, it's already prepared. It's like, here's your meal. Anyway, it seemed like it was nice. It was being respectful, but it was just like, eh, maybe I'll just take a look and see if there's any cheesecake in here or something. Any cheesecake. I'm going to play this board because I really like Mount Wario, but I no, hate but it's Dolphin. Dolphin. I mean... <gasps> Wait, I meant to do this one. I can't believe a dainty basket was left on the table. Can you tell what it was eating? Yeah, I think it was looking for either cheesecake or, like, a cheese spread. So, like, in this scenario, I'm thankful that we have this, like, oh, you know, bear-proof living space that we're in, because... Oh, wait, I have my little antenna on, and I don't want that on. Okay, go. Change it. What is it? R. Wait. No, it's L. Oh. And I don't want the... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, you're good now. Good? Yeah. So, oh, frig. Um... What the... Why are you saying frig? Say fuck. Uh, I'm thankful that we are in a bear-proof... Airstream. Airstream. <laughs> because if we were one of the Is people... It Is it I mean, I don't think I've read anywhere that it's certified bear-proof. No, I, I mean, it... Like, it's riveted metal. Of course it's bear proof. I mean, bear... Like, bear bears. Bears are strong. I understand that, but the... There's no way that a bear is getting into the metal part of this. Maybe the, like, glass part, but even then it's still a stretch. So, I just feel safer than the people that we saw, like, you know, down the, where the circle area is. Well, they had, like, they had another, the people who left the dainty, um, picnic basket out, I mean, they have, like, a camp room, so I think we're No, 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 not that direction, I'm saying the other direction where the people are camping oh, like in the, tents. Well, that's, yeah, that's scary, because yeah. those people, the people who are in the camper who left the dainty basket out, they're endangering the people who are, are nearby, next to them. Yeah, I mean, I would be pissed if I woke up to a mauled, like, loved one because <laughs> somebody left a oh, Jesus. basket. <laughs> You're talking about the basket like a, like a Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, and Toto basket? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it looked like. It was like somebody was at an anniversary and they probably had too much wine, which they're not supposed to have. Yeah, geez, what's and, wrong with them having wine? Yeah, camping? and it was like somebody set up, set us up the bomb. No, that's a 
bad reference. No, I mean, the viewers are definitely get that joke. Okay, well, somebody set us up the bomb, which was really a code word for they're going to celebrate their anniversary. <laughs> with the, what? With the dainty basket. They were setting up a dainty basket for their anniversary to celebrate. And it turned bad. Oh them. my god, folks. I can't even stand how I just came in first and first came in fifth. Or, excuse me. Okay, so pop quiz. What do you think of if I say, like Dorothy and Toto, get in the basket? I mean, everybody would think the same thing. Which is, elaborate on it. I mean, Hannibal or um, Buffalo <laughs> Bill. No. <laughs> get in the basket? Yes, but what is it? The Dorothy and Toto, get in the basket! Oh, um, yeah. Well, not everybody's gonna know that. It's Alaska. From Drag Race. Yes. Season. Uh. It must have been All Stars. That was the second Yeah. Movie. And All Stars what? Probably. Three? No. Two. Two. Close. Okay, your gay card is kept. Attack. By the way, everyone, I'm on My the left. My gamer card. Yeah. Listen, this is not a good assessment of my ability as a Mario Carter because I don't like this controller. Yeah, we forgot. I mean, like, really, just so stupid of us, but we forgot the extra. This was a, yeah. This was a last-minute trip that we didn't really plan well. And thankfully, I. Um, wanted to make sure that I checked into Animal Crossing every day. And so I brought my Switch. Chris forgot his Switch, which, like, really? And so we only have these pairs of Joy-Cons, like the ones we're using. And re legit, it is not a good time. I mean, I'm playing, like, literally I'm pushing pixels. Literally, play. yeah. Like, my nail is creating force. It's very, very, like, ants would find this controller small. <laughs> Are they flying ants? Because they're in this airstream right now and they're asking for their controller. Oh, is that why they're here? Yeah. <laughs> they they want to play. Well, I mean, like, I don't mind inviting them, but I don't, we, like, don't have any more controllers and I'm not going to let them control. I'm going to get Carpal Tunnel for playing with Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about that, not going to lie. Is there a hospital nearby? The one that I saw was like, remember when we were coming up here and I commented about how the signs were different for hospitals? It yeah. was like, I want to say maybe like 15 miles back. So it would likely take us enough time to amputate. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, I yeah, recently I... learned. Remember what I told you yesterday? Yeah, yeah. What was the word? Do you remember? Gangrene or sepsis? No. Oh, contortionist no, or something. No, close. Containment. No, close. Ukrainian containment. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I learned the term compartment syndrome oh, yesterday. Oh, that's what it is. Ukrainian compartment syndrome. No, <laughs> no Ukrainian. I learned compartment syndrome, which means that if you're like leg, arm, whatever gets destroyed and then like this part no longer allows blood flow from like here to here. All of the blood compartmentalizes to here and therefore the only solution is if you cut off your arm. Listen, I thought about this. Is this, uh, I mean, I feel like this is why they developed the tourniquet. Yeah, but because then in that case, you're if you are Ukrainian com compartmentalized yeah, here, we're gonna start, and you have a tourniquet, you're not spreading the just like the dead parts to the 
like getting sepsis to the living. No, no, no. Do you know what a tourniquet is? Yeah, it cuts off the blood flow. No, a tourniquet just keeps the um, the arm or leg or whatever straight to allow no. the. What? A tourniquet is when you tie off the arm and so that it's not doesn't get blood flow so that it's it's ultimately going to be amputated. That's what a tourniquet is. You're thinking of a stent or like for something to like support the arm. Yeah, that is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, a tourniquet is when you tie off the arm. Wait, legit? I didn't know this. So, so a tourniquet, you're actually... You're gonna get an amputation if you have a tourniquet, I think. I mean, you can Google it because this campsite has really good Wi-Fi, so... Um... I will after we get off air, because I don't want to be Googling stuff. And I also, yeah, I don't want to disrupt the stream. And now because we have so many engaging viewers. And but hold on, so getting back to this, you're saying that that makes a lot of sense. Like a tourniquet is designed to stop the like potential gangrene yeah. from going then, into the rest of your body? Yeah, that tourniquet like cuts off that thing and then that becomes something that's going to be amputated like after you get to wow. a proper hospital like 15 miles away because you know boom ducks so folks if you are watching and you how did we get here i don't know but if you recognize why i'm even talking about compartment syndrome and where i've learned it from please shoot us an email or a dm or whatever you would do on twitch or youtube um, because I'm curious to see if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean... Because I don't want to, it's like a potential spoiler, and I just don't want to, like, announce that to all of our followers. Wait, right I think, I don't even know what it's going to spoil. But also, oh, you're an asshole. What do you mean you also, know what it's going to spoil? What is it spoiling? I'm not going to say it out loud, because it's going to spoil it. Think about where I, why I even talked to you about it yesterday, but don't say it. I don't remember, is what I'm saying. And also, if you do Google it, make sure you Google Ukrainian part compartmental. Okay, I'm going to mute for a sec to tell him. Okay, we're back. Okay, I vaguely remember. If you can read lips, I apologize. I should probably warn you about that. But I was talking to the sides. I wonder if a lip reader can pick up And is it that. potato quality at the campsite? Yeah, please let us know. Shoot us a message and let us know if it's potato quality. I know you hate this board, but this is legitimately one of my favorite boards in Mario Kart history. I think it's just not Mario Kart, that's why. It's like, how in what world is this board not Mario Kart? Because there's no... It's, uh... I feel like it's more... This is your Sonic nature, your, like, Sega... This is... I mean... I'm, I'm just, I'm processing a lot with the whole Ukrainian thing, and... You're very I'm, eloquent in your words right now. I'm, no, I'm struggling, because I know that you love Nintendo now, and everybody loves Nintendo, but I know also that at times in your life, you did not share this sentiment. And you liked some I was just other, always jealous. You liked some other console. And what I'm saying is this board feels more like a Sonic TM type kart racing rather than a Mario kart racing. And maybe what I'm saying is maybe that's why you feel an affinity for it. I can understand that, but I think why I like it is because it's unique in that it doesn't have 
uh, laps. Yeah, and, and so, I think that laps are something that, because laps work in that... They train you, right? Yes. And yeah. But I think what's cool about this is you gotta have the cojones to, like, just go with the flow and make sure that you are quick to respond to the newness of it all. And it's very much like life. Sometimes you repeat life, sometimes you don't. And in this case, you don't at all. And you need to just absolutely um, go with the flow. And if you're not good at going with the flow, then you're going to end up in fifth place. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine. Oh my god, you were literally right there. I... Okay, well, let's keep going. I agree. I mean... It's just fine. a different thing. It's a different thing, and I appreciate that, but I still... Maybe I'm nostalgic, and I like the dainty picnic baskets as opposed to like the modern Yeti ones that protect against bears. Except what do we have two of in your car? Maybe what I'm trying to tell you is that I want a dainty basket. Okay, so why didn't you say that the last time that we bought the second Yeti and you said you only want Yeti because that's the best and it's bear protected. So. But now that I saw that the bear was really nice when going through, like it was I mean, you think, when you think of a bear going through a basket of food, potentially like cheesecake in there, potentially... Oops. Yeah, so tell the viewers. I mean, there could be a selection of olives, there could be a cheese platter, <laughs> there could be a lot of things in there. He doesn't know. But he was nicely going, like, it seemed like... He was respectful and was just like, well, oh, what do you guys, what spread are you guys having? And that's all that I'm saying is that normally in a bear situation at a campsite, they have like the electrical fences by the garbage and everything. Nobody wants to eat garbage. And this was a nicely presented basket that somebody kindly left out okay. for God. the bear. Kind for the bear, not kind for the other people in the tent situation. But the bear was respectfully going through it to look to see what kind of food was in there. Okay, so I have a couple of questions. One, why did the people not eat anything in that basket. Don't answer yet. Okay. Number I have an two. For that. I think I have an answer for that. Number two, what do you think the bear was looking for if it was pushing away the, the like items you're saying like you were able to see? <laughs> so what was it specifically looking for to hope to find in this beautifully ah. organized basket that Listen. was like, wait. Yeah, okay, I have an answer for that okay. too. Okay, and then number three, because you came inside so you didn't see, do you think the bear took the basket and like trotted off with it like Goldilocks? Or do you think that it destroyed it completely? I, think I have an answer for that too. Okay, so answer okay, all Okay, so one. And look at the camera. I, you do. What was the first question? My first question was why do you think the people didn't eat anything? Okay, so yeah, I have an answer. I think that the people, like I said earlier, it looked like it was a anniversary type situation. And so something got like hot and heavy and they like didn't get to the food part and they got right to the dessert. Like the dessert? Yeah. Okay. So that's my answer. For, that's my interpretation because nobody prepares a dainty basket like that. That's like you don't wear like sexy underwear unless there's an outcome to the sexy yeah, underwear. like an expectation. Of so an that's outcome. that thought. Okay. Second thought is, what was it why didn't for? the bear eat that? I think that the no, bear, the... no, why was the bear looking for something 
yeah, not what eating was it the cheese for? spread or the cheesecake. Yeah, what was everything it that for? I've named so far is dairy, and I think that was a lactose intolerant bear. Oh, and so okay, I think I it was looking that. for like honey or like meat or something that's not lactose because yeah. I think it would have turned his stomach. And the third question did he take the basket i think he did take the basket and like i didn't see him take it but i think he probably took it for the other bears that are not lactose intolerant in his little like oh that's cave. so nice of him uh yeah so i love that he's like so, a little true listen everybody won in this like the anniversary couple got their they dessert, got their dessert. <laughs> the bears well the bear Maybe he kept the basket, so maybe he won with the dinky basket, and then the other bears in his little group. What's a group of bears? I have no idea. Let me, while you share your story, I'll tell you. I think that the other groups of in the bears' little following got the cheese if they were not lactose intolerant. They got the cheese. Group of bears is called. A sloth. <laughs> a group of bears. Really? It's called the sloth. So we're going to keep going as we move on from the bear conversation. Hopefully, we don't get eaten. And if we do, this is our last, like, stream I mean, ever. So. You've tolerated the fact that or no you me confirm me yeah you yeah. you have confirmed that bear cannot get inside the airstream yes but i am saying if like for whatever reason i need to leave the airstream to go pick up a snack in the car or whatever we have like plenty of food inside the airstream but ultimately if like I need to go to the car and I no longer make it and then Chris comes out to save me because I'm screaming and we don't ever stream. Thank you for watching. That's all that I'm trying to and say. And subscribe because if you subscribe, you'll find out whether or not you made it back yeah. on the car. <laughs> Bottom line. I hope you didn't pick Dolphin Schultz again. No, I didn't. I picked the one with uh, cheese whatever. Oh, because... You're hoping that I'm lactose intolerant like the bear. I have known you for 13 years, and I can assure you that you are not lactose intolerant. Okay. Oh my god, I love baby, baby part. So in case you don't know, me and Chris have been dating for... Um, oh, they don't know, because this is our first stream. Yeah, but I don't know. Stream. So in our first airstream, we are announcing that we have been dating for... 13 years, and in November of this year will be 14 years, which is, I mean, like, crazy. And That's, like, older than the internet. It's not. Um, but, this is what we do. We, we, uh, we have actually we not... We campsites. Yeah, we, we've not actually seen our, like, friends or family since March 14th when the uh, quarantine happened, 13. March 13th. And so we are still technically like quarantining, but like inside of Mirstream. And uh, yeah. And in this scenario- But I've, we're good at it, I mean, oh. I've read a lot about how people who are like in unhappy relationships are finding it really difficult to like cope with um, being with their partner of whatever amount of time during quarantine. And I'm, I mean, I could do this for the rest of my life. So. Oh my god, you're still racing? Jesus Christ. Yeah, see, this is quintessential Mario Kart. This is because look at the race, like, look at the lapping, Ugh. that whole thing, items everywhere. You and your Genesis situation with that slope thing makes me question your heritage 
How about the fact that I was announcing to all of our viewers that we are passionately in love <laughs> and not distracted me? Yeah, I am very much kidding. Oh, so God, I missed that. Now that. So this is Why? the cheese yeah, board. This is... Oh my god, I literally just hit myself with the shell. This board is, uh, I like, to be honest, I, I don't like this board at all. But, because it's cheese related... Why, because you're lactose? No, I'm not lactose. Me and, me and Chris, um... Love cheese. For three years almost? Wait, your name is, by the way, for people just tuning in, your name is Elias... My name is Chris. We're in upstate New York right now, camping. We're gonna try to do this every weekend. Oh my god, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah, so I'm Elias. Streaming some games from our airstream. And Chris is next to me, and I was gonna say that me and Chris were, or we have been vegetarians for quite some time because we are just really like, we don't want to be a, a part of an environment that is just killing animals for, like, our labor requirements. Yeah. But, oh, <laughs> I so, mean, yeah, that's certainly a big part of it. But also, let's just, I mean, let's, let's unpack that for a little bit. Because what sort of meat did we enjoy? We enjoyed burgers, right? Like, and we enjoyed chicken nuggets, and that was like comprised of meat. Like meat, air quotes meat. If I had more hands, I would and do air quotes. Then occasionally we would be like, okay, yeah, let's have a chicken breast. But there was always that like chance that awful, awful chance that you would get that grizzly piece of chicken. And you all know what you we're know talking what about. what we're talking about. It is literally like it it's makes that, my like, skin turn inside out. I think that we read about it afterwards and they call it like woody chicken or yeah, something. Yeah, it literally feels like you're biting through. Through like a piece of wood. Layered balsa wood. And so... That hatred, I think, is probably what also motivated us to not eat chicken anymore, or not eat meat anymore. Because if we think of meat substitutes, there's a totally sufficient, really good meat substitute for um, beef, for beef, like ground beef, yeah. which we would eat and and eat do eat regularly, the substitute. There is a very good substitute for eating chicken nuggets oh or God. chicken tenders that we eat regularly. And so it's like, well, okay, so we're just gonna cut out grizzly woody chicken I and not kill animals along the way, then yeah, then, sign me yeah, up. Yeah, success. Um, so all of that to say that we have not eaten any meat for almost three years now. And whenever I announce that to someone new who I meet, they're like, oh, are you vegan or vegetarian? And I'm like, no, no, I'm vegetarian. You don't know what the difference is. Um, vegetarians will not eat any meat specifically from the creature, but vegans will not eat any byproduct from the creature. So for example, milk comes from a cow, which is a byproduct of the cow, and milk becomes cheese, and milk becomes yogurt, and butter, and all of that. And Delicious. so a vegan will not eat any of those things. That's because they, hard. That's, because yeah. they came from an animal, which, like, respectably, totally, you know, obviously I get that, but my body says, no, 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 no. Cheese, cheese is way too important. Wait, a question on that though, and I just thought of this. Does a vegan eat honey? I don't know the answer to that. My 
gut instinct is that they will not eat honey yeah, because that is a byproduct of, of an animal. Of an animal, yeah. Um, and so, with all of that said, we were once um, at a diner, like on our way to a state park in New Jersey. We stopped at a diner um, and had the one which was cheese. infested with ticks. To that okay. Second. Yeah, I mean, why do you even have to bring that up? Because that just repulses me. Right now. Yeah. Regardless of the ticks, but we ordered this like triple um, grilled cheese artisan. What was it called? Like artisan. Yeah. Triple <laughs> grilled cheese. I think is what it was. Yeah. And so midway through eating it, we're literally both like quiet, and suddenly and, like, beads of sweat yeah. on our forehead. <laughs> Like, as if we have a fever. And I'm like, I don't, I don't feel well. And Chris is like... And it's like, you eat cheese and like, you feel well. Yeah, but I'm gonna just look at the camera for this story for a sec. So like, legit, I don't feel well. Chris says he doesn't feel well. And... <laughs> Not like, it wasn't like, I have a... Like, I have food poisoning? No. Feel well. It was like... It was like... My... I, my body... Like my heart is stopping a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> my heart was stopping. My body was literally sweating. Like, like I was shutting sweat. down. And it was like my body was having dif too difficult of a time to, like, process the cheese. And so I think it was you who said, like... Do you, is there such a thing as cheese sweats? Because there's a thing of like meat sweats. Yeah, and the thing like, of meat sweats is your body is eating too much like protein, protein and it can't process it. Yeah, and so we're in the in the diner feverishly looking up cheese sweats on our phone. There's no service, so it's like impossible to get to um, the page. And I finally get to a page that says that cheese sweats is a real thing, and that it like exists and if you have too much cheese in one sitting you will develop cheese sweats which your body is basically like shutting down and you're and it's like releasing all of it through your your sweat I mean, that's the way to go though oh totally but there is such a thing as cheese sweats and i will still take that over not being able to ever eat cheese okay back to the game that was um I mean, I, it's controversial, but I want to say that was a good grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, I mean, it was delicious. You it remember how like, it was like crispy, but yeah. it also was and flavorful. Yes. Oh my god, very buttery. Wait, how did you do that? Oh, uh, why? Oh, why? Yeah. We're playing in case you're just tuning in with the Joy Cons because Chris forgot his switch, so we we actually have. Is there a Best Buy close to this campsite? No, I don't think so. We didn't see any, like, civilization. But Chris has um, a Switch. I have, I have a Switch. Title. That's we, what I have right now. We both have uh, Pro Controllers, and throughout the time frame of the Switch, I also bought, um, I think, like, three sets of Joy-Cons. So we have plenty of controllers to be able to play. I mean, are you flexing right now? A little bit. Um, all of that to say that on this trip, which is embarrassing, we, Chris forgot his Switch, so we only have these Joy-Cons to play on, and... I mean, like, I can double-check the card that I didn't have packed, but I don't think I did. Well, why would you have just packed the Joy-Cons and not your Switch? Are you sure maybe you don't... No, I'm saying I can pack the Pro Controllers. So there's a know. chance your Switch exists somewhere in your car? No, my Switch definitely doesn't exist. I know I didn't pack that. I'm saying, did I pack the Pro Controllers? I don't know. Okay, well, we will check after this, because this whole setup right now is giving me legitimate carpal tunnel. Yeah, like, I mean, like, we're gonna need lots of followers to pay for medical bills from this carpal tunnel. So if you're following, if you're watching, make sure please you subscribe. subscribe. Because what we're gonna do is just, you know, travel the country and but what we mean by the country is probably just the tri-state area like new york new jersey the tri-state area i wonder if other people from around the world know what the fuck the tri-state area is it's new york 
New Jersey, Connecticut, and what we're going to do is make this the quad state area and probably go to Pennsylvania too. Yeah, so we... Maybe we'll go to other states too, but I'm not promising anything because gas is expensive at times and I don't want to destroy the environment. Oh my god. And so, yeah, we're going to just travel, play games, stream if the Wi-Fi at the place supports it, and you guys can actually see not potatoes on the screen. Yeah, this is actually a really good uh, place we're at. Right yeah, this now. one's good. Do you think you can go check your car really quick for the Pro Controller, see if you have it? Um, yeah. Like... And we'll be right back in just a second. Okay, let me go.
Okay, we're back. Chris found his pro controller. We are back, and I had to do. We kept. So here I am. All of our my... floors. I am a needy bitch, and I had to dig through all the shit in our trunk, and I found Elias's pro controller, as so, the P Touch label says. That so you, you me see. have that, but you don't have your switch. Yeah. Why? I mean, I'm prepared for nothing. I'm prepared for making myself satisfied. So we decided that we're going to play um, Overcook 2 at 12, 15, midnight. Because, you know, I really just want mozzarella sticks, and hopefully this game will make us mozzarella sticks. We got this really cool thing that I want to try out to... We could make mozzarella sticks in this little oven thing from oh, Sweden. Yeah. That's very cool. We should do that. We could do another video of that one day. We'll make mozzarella sticks in like a faux oven. Because like if you make them in the microwave in this Airstream, it's going to be like, yeah, that's going to be gross. Okay, so let's switch to live scene. And it's just loading the game. We haven't played this in a while, so it's going to take us a second to like figure out what the fuck we're doing. I mean, this is going to be a trainer. Yeah. By the way, in case you've been watching, this is not water. But if you're a park ranger and you're watching, it's water. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I need to... I always forget that I can't hear this from the television. Literally don't even know what we're doing here. How do I go fast? Don't go to one of the hard ones though, because I. You want to start at the beginning then? I like really want to do something easy because I don't even remember how to play this. I know that there's a. Okay, we got three stars. Game. We got three stars. Hey, one three. That's three like stars. Water. One four. That's okay. No, I want to go do something that we didn't have three stars in. No, I'm just saying to reacquaint ourselves with this game. Okay, one so let's five. go. No, one five is good. And like Snowland, I want Snowland right now because it's hot as hell in this airstream. And All right. We have the fan and everything off. Literally, don't remember how to play this game. Anyway, if you're watching this and you're interested in following us, visit different campsites in the airstream and playing video games where Wi-Fi permits subscribe and we'll just talk about stupid shit i'm like i don't even know who i am I don't even, yeah what am i making oh i need to make oh my god tomatoes and i think i need to cut them tomatoes go here oh what's that fire i don't know but my no, this is... Should we start at the beginning? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how to okay. play this. This is terrible. We're going back to the beginning. Okay, nobody's going to follow us now because they're <laughs> going to think we're idiots. Okay, side note, another thing I forgot is my glasses. I am not blind, but I certainly need a little bit more vision for the smaller TV that we're using here. I... So... Have amazing vision because I just got LASIK like a month ago and it's incredible. You could see all that that we just did? Yeah, I could see that. There's some like crazy interface that came up when I pushed one I, of these buttons. I saw that, yeah. But I don't know what any that of That scared did. me a little bit. Yeah, it was overwhelming. I thought it was like, it was like a little bit of the Matrix. Like if you're in a kitchen and you know when you go to a website... Wait, pause. So look, I can't tell what that is. Is that shrimp? A crab, a scrimp, crab? Scrimp and sushi or tuna. Make tuna into sushi. Okay, I understand. Okay, wait, Go. let me just unpack this a little bit. You know. Oh, I got sushi. What is that interface? Oh, why is chop? How though? Hold why. Hold Y. Y or X? Oh, uh, X. X. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yes. Give it to the sushi. Person. I did. 
I've done that. I know, over by the... there. Okay, so... Um... What was I talking about? Wait, where are our plates? Jesus! Oh, I need to put out a plate? God, it's so prissy! No, I was talking about something really important. It had to do with LASIK at some point. And then... I don't know what you were talking about. If you're following and you want to know what I've... Me, like, what I should continue the story that we were going to talk about, just let me know. Message in the comments. Wait, why comments. is that? Like... Uh, this is a game that's very, like, legitimately very difficult to be streaming while we are I'm just drinking making, lots of water. I'm making a lot of tuna sushi. Yeah, but we need to put it on a plate. Yeah, I know, but... What's a new game that we can play that you guys would like to follow? Yeah, let us know. We were gonna play Terraria, but then it turns out that that's, like, not multiplayer local, which we could probably play on our two Switches of Crystal Members to bring it the next time. But it's easier to just look up at the screen. You know what would be nice, Chris, if we put the camera somewhere right here? Like, in the middle. Yeah. So that way it looks like we're looking at our viewers. We're looking at you guys just, like... Vicariously through the internet. Oh, fuck. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, and totally it's fine. Man, I really had a good talking point and it totally escaped me. Well, when we watch this that. back, we'll find out. We need two of that. Put one, two, two, two. Oh. Oh my god, this guy just wants more and more sushi. Oh, we were going the wrong way. Holy frig. <gasps> oh my god, if you watch that, I just caught that like a fucking ninja. Okay, so are we like ready to do like 2 1 or 2 2 or no? I mean. Maybe? All right, let's give our viewers what they want to see. Yeah, what do you guys want to see? They want to see the bear getting... getting <clears throat> lactose intolerance. Yeah, disease. what did... Like, did you notice anything out there? No. I was... I mean, I didn't... Somebody took the... Either the people who had the basket took the basket inside, or the bear took the basket to the friends that he has in his cave back home. But there was no dainty basket out there. Where do I go? 2-6 looks like a really big leap to... from like, what were we on? Like 1-3? One, 1-1! One, one. Okay, so let's... Wait, legit though, where would I go? I mean, these number. yeah, you keep going, no. Keep going, follow the road, follow the yellow brick road. No. Yep, yep, keep going. No, two is. Oh, I'm like in the water. Okay, well, this is obviously why you're losing a very Wait, what's survival say? Can you read that? It says it serves as many meals, serve as many meals as possible in the time given. Each dish served adds time to the clock. Survive as long as possible. Okay, that sounds fun. Oh wait, now we need wait. To did it go. have something to do with LASIK? Was that what I was going to talk about? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that was a thing. Oh, here we are. Three, one. No, two. not three. Here, this one we're gonna do. We've, we've never done that. Yeah. We're just going right for it. 
Okay, this is going to be a disaster. Don't tell your story yet. Just focus. No, I don't really have a story. I just love being able to see shit. Okay, let's see. I've worn contacts forever. I don't know what I'm doing. Hamburger. We need buns. Lettuce? Lettuce, meat, and cheese. Oh my god, this is going to be... The meat... Does the meat just go right on the grill? Yeah, I think it does. Chop it first. Yeah, I'm putting the meat, the burger. I just put the meat on the steps. No, I think you need to chop the meat first. Yeah, here, so I'm putting. Oh, there's gonna be. Oh my god. This, you just this is... fell off. I didn't know this was Harry Potter. <laughs> we don't talk about Harry Potter oh, anymore. Oh, yeah. Person. How do I cut anything now? Oh, there's a. Oh portal. my god. Wait, I need to buy. <laughs> I need. Oh, okay. So, folks, we're gonna probably reset this. Wow. This we're is... just waiting for me. Where's my meat? Give me my meat. No, go down. I'm. <sighs> really? What? I'm, I need meat. I mean, said every gay man ever. Yeah, so where's my meat? I had meat, but then I lost it when I went through the portal. I don't think it works that way. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so now it's this cooking the meat. This is worse than Harry Potter's tweets lately. No, with J.K. Rowling's tweets. Okay, so I think I have an idea. Just one of us needs to cut up the meat. I'm cooking something. Look, I have this. Can we get one burger? Okay, I have a burger. Here, I have one burger, and I'm giving it now. Good, I got it. Oh my god, you got a whole there. I made that meat. Do that. But I need all the other components. I need bread and cheese. Wait, I have lettuce. Here's the lettuce. Put it up on the thing! Did you cut the lettuce? Yeah, it's right from Hogwarts. I'm making the lettuce. Okay, now we need... Is this a bread? What is this? Yes, it's bread. I fell. Oh my god. We're doing nothing. Does anybody want lettuce, bread, and meat? Lettuce, bread, and meat, and cheese. We need cheese. Well, no. Some people don't want cheese. Right? No. Look up at the top. Where can I get cheese from? Give me cheese. Here. Move, move, move. Here, put it on this cheeseburger. No, I need to cut it. Okay, now I'm about to put it and then you're gonna deliver. Quick, yeah. go, go, go. Bye. I'm... Quick. Oh my god. Okay, so now we need meat and cheese. We need buns, meat, and cheese. Oh my god. Me? It was me. So did you get the cheese? <sighs> I have. I need okay, I'm, cheese I'm and meat. Okay, i a bun. Go, do the bun. Put it somewhere. Now we need meat. I have cheese right here. Okay, you, you just chop the cheese. I'm yeah. Gonna... This is really hard. Move. There's two. Okay, go of... now. Cook that. I know. Oh my. I don't think this is gonna happen. Oh my god. Did you put the cheese on no. that? No, yes, the cheese is on the right one. Alright, now that we know what we're doing, we're gonna be fine. Yeah. Deliver, deliver, deliver! Go up here to the mirror. Quick, deliver. Oh my god, am I gonna do it, guys? Oh. Yes! But we definitely didn't win. Okay, oh. we're gonna do that again. That's Take a exhausting. second. exhausting. Do we get to eat the burgers afterwards? If we do double as well as we just did. Okay, are you ready? Are you focused? Let's check and see if the bears are there. Do you see anything? No. Okay. I mean, we're respectful and we keep the lights, try to keep the lights inside so people are I'm like a, trying to sleep. Fucking I think the bugs around. have gotten better. Yeah, they did. Why is that? They're probably all watching us. All one yeah. bug. 
If you're watching, just tell us that you're a person and say hi. And, and tell us that you're engaged. I need to sit, like, more excitedly whenever I do such shit like this. How do we play Terrarium? We, you would have to play on your Switch, but you forgot it. But what is that? What is, like, tell me about it. What is? What it's like your my. It's like Minecraft. It's like a little bit of an RPG-ish, and except it's Minecraft. Okay, focus. Well, Minecraft focus. is not focus. Really an RPG. It's just. A... Okay, I'm bringing bread. Bring meat. Okay, that's down here. And I'm bringing cheese, which is down here. Okay, then... go cook it. When you're done cooking, put it up at oh, that we got one. A, we got an update. Yeah, when you're done cooking, put it yeah, on that one it. and then the liver. So then I'm gonna bring another burger, another bun, and lettuce. This is all sounding delicious. Bye. Don't push me off, I have precious cargo. And um, now meat and cheese, that's all you. Okay. I'll Get me. I'll get the cheese. I am literally. This is Portal we're playing. Yeah, basically. This is a. Cook that. I'm gonna make more burgers while. Yeah, that's yeah. fine, but just make sure that when it happens, it doesn't burn. And the next one we need is oh bread. Oh my god, saved by the bell. Meat and cheese. This cook another cool. meat. I'm cooking meat. Okay, so the second one... Yeah, that can be delivered, this one. I'm gonna go. Oh my god, we're like, doing well. <gasps> oh my god. Bye. I'm gonna make some more burgers. Okay, so we need, the next one is just a plain burger. It's buns. Uh, I mean, let's make this game a little believable. Who's actually ordering? Oh, I'm trying to put raw meat. Okay, Thank it's you. cooking. Who's ordering a hamburger without cheese? No. Literally no one ever in life. <laughs> oh wait, we need our plates. Fucking shit, I'm gonna get our plates. Oh I got God. it, I got it. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Take oh. it off! Okay, I got it. I think oh. there's meat on the ground. I'm gonna cook that. We need 70 more points. I'm just coming back with plates. You do your thing. I'm gonna just have plates coming. I mean, there's just frying Go, 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 go. Is that 70 points? We need 30 more points. One more delivery, hopefully. Okay, well... I, I just need plates. Give me I'm, a bun. What Forget about doing? those two over there. Forget about the first two in the top left. Just forget about them. Do the next, the third, fourth, and the fifth. Okay, we did it. No, did we? Yeah, oh, we just lost some points. But we still did it. So we can't lose any more points. We need to deliver. So we need burgers. I'm bringing this. Oh my oh. god, what did you fucking do? Did I lose points? Yes, 30 points. Well, Make more burgers. Oh my god. I'm gonna make burgers. You also fell off. It's not about falling off, it's about delivering the wrong item. I didn't deliver anything. Well, we lost points, I don't know why. Oh my god, this is fucking impossible. I need cheese. Oh my god, you can run in this game. I'm delivering this because I don't know what else to do. Go, deliver it. Quick, quick, this might be it. Quick, four, three, press B, two, press B, quick. Yes! Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> I'm gonna stress. <laughs> like, I'm stressing. Oh my god. Okay, so by the way. B that, I have a fucking heart condition <laughs> now for Same. a star? <laughs> <laughs> one star. We should do that one again, just to get more. No, now that we have a... Look, this one... 
bolts forward for a sec. So press it, press it, press it. We're gonna try that again, because that was not okay. Look, at Jesus this, Christ! This is this fucking ukulele music that's relaxing, and then they just put you Holy to, through crap. through hell. Okay. Ready? Wait, we're gonna we're do doing this board again? Yes, to get more stars. You do the meat. I always have to do the meat. Always. I'm throwing it on the ground. Your meat is the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, deliver that one after you cook it, that first one. Okay? I want all of this food now. Are you understanding me? We need another, how many meats are you cooking? One. Okay, I'm doing another one. And that second one, we're gonna deliver just as it is, meat and cheese. Oh. Bye. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm doing that second one. I'm gonna just make another burger because of burgers. Everything has a burger. Do you mean by burger like the patty? Yeah. These portals take like a split second. Yeah, and, and it throws me off. Annoying. This is a bun that you have here, right? Yeah, once that one yeah, cooks that it. you're at, deliver that one. Go. Oh my god, this, this needs to come off. There's so much work to do in this. Honestly, I've worked at McDonald's when I was a teenager, and this is very much what it's like. There's always something we need, to do. We need cheese. It's stressful as anything. So, shout out to all the McDonald's employees. Okay, I'm about to go. You do the next one, I'm not looking. I'm making a burger. Okay, so I'm gonna bring. What do you need? Bread? Um, bread no, and cheese? I'm just gonna make cheese. Okay, I'm coming with bread. It's on there. Once you get the cheese, deliver that one, and I'm moving on to the next one. Okay, and I'll make. Oh! Oh my god. Deliver, this is deliver, literally... deliver. Okay, so we need. I'm gonna make a meat. full burger with lettuce and cheese. Ah, oh, we need the plates too. Oh my god, this portal! Oh. I'm gonna just make cheese while that's cooking. You don't make the cheese; you just chop it. I'm just bringing some of the plates, so you start building everything. Forget about the first two because we're gonna lose them because we're the worst. Oh my god, and we haven't been running at all. Jesus Christ! What is wrong with us? Does anybody need just a cheeseburger? Here. <laughs> oh, I just died with the burger. Oh my god, the whole thing? It was done. Oh my god. Okay, we need meat and cheese. Those are the two things that we need. This is stressful. Make sure to run. Oh no, I can't run because I run just off the thing. Uh, this is like we're getting less stars than last Yeah. Time. Okay, well I maybe this is something we should be working on for the next week. <laughs> yeah, this is a work in progress. I'm just throwing meat on the floor. I also need to pee. Yeah. And our kitchen's gonna be on fire. Not the airstream kitchen, knock on wood. No, the like yeah. Whatever this hot boards kitchen is. Can we pause a sec so I can go pee? Yeah. Okay. We're well, ready. this is a disaster. We're terrible gamers. No, we're not. But right now we are. But, yeah. Over there. Okay, go ahead and... Yeah, we're gonna... We'll be back, like, give us three the, yeah. minutes, five minutes, somewhere in between. Okay, be right back.
Okay, we're gonna... I'm back. We're gonna play the next board and just see how we do. <laughs> how is your bladder emptying? It was amazing. Like, fully empty? Well, you know. I don't think that's possible. Yeah. I feel like there's always a little bit more that can come out. Okay, so we need... I need to, like, move forward a little bit. Oh, we're going. Oh, I think I, I don't remember know. this Pizza. one. No, we never played this one. I don't even know what we're... Like, what... I... What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. Tomatoes? Maybe. Where is the flour? Like, the bread? Is it this one? Wait, I... I also don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? Oh, because we're not in the live scene. You guys can't see how... Also this. How did that happen? Okay, now we hear everything. And sure, we're... We should probably restart. Terrible. Welcome to Airstreamers. Yeah. What's the thing on Twitch? Is it at Airstreamers? Like, is that a thing? Yeah, we're Airstreamers. We need pepperoni pizza, so dough right here. Got it. I also Do got I have to it. chop the dough? Yeah. Oh my god. You don't chop dough. No, you're like kneading it. You have to put it in the oven? <sighs> I don't really know. What is this thing? Is this sauce? I need tomatoes. Or pepper? Pepperoni. It's sausage, yeah. I have tomatoes. Yeah, well, you you put it in a spot that's impossible for any of us to get, by the way. I don't even know how you did that. What, this? That corner spot? Like, we can't get that. How the fuck I can't did I do this? This is far no, wait, too I stressful. I get it now. Got it. Okay, so now we need, what, cheese? Where's the cheese? Is this cheese? Yeah. Oh my god, I want pizza. And our little oven doesn't... Do we have to cook this? Oh, I... We... I'm restarting. I'm sorry. Here, I have an idea. You worry about the first one, I'm worrying about the second one. Let's explore another game. In a second, but one more try. Okay. You explore... You are in charge of the first one. Us. I'm in charge of the second one. This is giving me, like, PTSD from McDonald's. Okay, so I'm doing the second one. We're basically doing the exact same thing. But I don't think that you chop dough. But right? where- no, you don't chop dough. You're basically just kneading the dough. But you don't knead with a knife, right? Do we have to cook it? I think pizza, all pizza gets cooked. Oh, where? Where are we cooking it? Oh, in the upright thing. That's the deal. Oh my god, this is insanity. Oh, you have an oven, I have an oven. No, now you have both ovens. Quick, grab my oven. Grab my thing, it's gonna burn. Grab it, grab it, quick, quick, quick. And give it to me. Pizza. Okay. Good. Pizza. Deliver this. Yeah, I will. Can I make a, a pizza or anything? Yeah, I need a plate. Okay. I need that. Tomatoes. I need tomatoes. I mean, literally, this no. This is just. <laughs> no chef is designing a kitchen like this. I need cheese, and then I need to cook it. Okay, that's in there. Oh my god, you have to do the dishes. Do this dish, right there, do you see it? Listen. Do I that dish. I don't do dishes. Do it. Put that somewhere, and then I do that to dish. I collect this first. Give me. Good. Ooh, and I'll do that dish, and now we need the next one. I'm gonna skip and go to the third one. 
Up at Wait, the top. deliver this pizza. Okay. Okay, good. We're on fire. I'm making I'm dishes. doing the third one. Here's a dish. Good. And I need cheese. I need cheese, I need cheese. Oh, oh. fuck! I, that was a mistake on my part. I didn't mean to do that. Here's cheese. Yeah. <laughs> what? Throw, Did I you, throw that? Yeah, you can throw it. Oh my god, I well, hope this just... didn't fuck us up. Jesus fucking Christ. No, I mean, we have 300 points, isn't that a good thing? Yeah, but we're on fire, look. Ooh. But I hope that it doesn't, like, mess us up that... I'm just chopping everything and we're just gonna use it. We're not gonna make one and two, so we need to make three and four and five. You're at the top now, by the way. So I, if you need to cook something, this give me This needs cheese, right? Yeah. And then what? Give me it. Okay, I'm about to give that to you in a sec. You better deliver this really, really quickly. Oh, I don't know. I'm in some sort of zone right now. Okay, here. Deliver, 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 deliver. Right here. Oh, you missed it. Deliver that one. No, put this in the oven. The thing over here on the left. I can't. Oh, we missed it. Oh, my God. So now we're just in... Yeah, but I think we did really well. We just gotta wait it out. We can't do anything. We can hold dirty dishes. I mean, can we do this every night of the week? How do you, how did you throw? I don't know, I threw cheese, like... Look, oh, a wheelchair oh, raccoon. No, like the representation. Okay, are we good? Yeah, I mean, my... I have this a was heart rough, condition. right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's talk a little bit about the campsite here. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know, something not as stressful as this. <laughs> Ow. I'm trying to pick up my... Okay. You know, I think it's probably like tundra outside, and this adapter is really what's heating this airstream. Yeah, for sure. You can't really see it, but yeah, this adapter, whatever it is from Amazon, it's I could I could cook a pizza on this. Can you please? Okay, I am quitting that game because that's incredibly stressful. And while we pick another game, we're going to be right back in a second. Okay, and we're back, and we decided that we're going to go old school and play Mar or Mario Country. Um, Donkey oh, Kong Country. cranky. Like, this was 1996, I think, so... Yeah, about... You think Cranky's still alive? No way. He's buried. Like, gone. Gone. He is still... Two-player team, right, is what we want to do? Yeah. But I'm gonna oh my be... god, I, this game, I remember all of this. The sounds, the music. I remember... Oh my god. All of this. 
this game, I didn't even really know what it was. I think that I really wanted a game and I had saved up some like allowance money and I asked my sisters were going to the mall and I asked them to pick up a game because I saw the cover of this and I thought like, oh wow, the graphics look really cool on it. Here, I'll let you play. Oh, shit. I'll let you I didn't play. know. These graphics were everything. Yeah, I saw the cover of it. Oh, you gotta you can't roll. Jump on him. Yeah, you can. No, I have to roll on him, but I can't jump on him. So I remember. Are you? I mean, you're missing every single. Oh my god. Fuck. Anyway, I asked them to pick up this game with my money, like my. Um, allowance money and I had no idea what it was and I like just got it on a whim and it was so so good was is yeah why is it I mean it's the graphics still hold up today yeah, they do. <laughs> you it's know what really it is it's like... the like Nintendo charm of things that go on I don't I oh, remember nighttime. It's nighttime. That was weird. But you know what board I remember? Bramble something. Bramble scramble. Yeah. Was that this one or the second one? Um, this I think it was this game, but it was this, the like second world. Oh. You know what I? I always associate the Ewok world with this game. Your turn. Because they lived in that little, like, the hot, tree, yeah. tree house area. This is all you. You need to... I don't really know the controls, though. Y makes you roll, and B makes you jump. That's it. Get out of here. How do I go up this? By pressing up. Oh my god, this is... This monkey is crazy. Get me, get me, get me. Good. There is... Get the like, rhino. This is Hurricane Sandy going on right now. Oh my god. There's like a thing down there. Yeah, we're not gonna go. I mean, they're like these games. This is just so good. So, another fond memory that I have, like gaming memory, is um, when I had a Sega Saturn. Oh, they What's wouldn't that? explode? No, you had to throw it. <sighs> And I got bug, bug. I think yeah, I think it was bug, bug exclamation, exclamation point. Because like that's like, not extra. Yeah, like uh, what was the drag queen? Um. Oh um, my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Something exclamation point. Oh god, she was terrible. Though. Yeah. Like, not too tough. Wait, you need uh, get me, please. Oh, oh my god, god, I sacrificed myself for you. Anyway, when I remember there was like a I had bug which I associate with this game maybe because of the like semi like that was 3D, this is semi 3D. And there were also like bees in it. There's bees in this game too. So really bug was a copy of this is what we're learning. Yeah. Um, and so, <gasps> no, oh, God. fuck, we're the worst. So, uh, do we even have any followers who are watching? No, it's like a gratuity follower. Wait, go back. I can't control anything. This is you. No, I'm just talking to Donkey. So, what does Cranky tell us? I remember, like, playing bug exclamation point 
on a snow day. Like waking up early because it was a snow day. And the best, the best just, feeling. Like, oh, I'm not going to go to school today because it's a snow day. And then playing bug all day. It was so, like, it was five o'clock and I was like, oh my god, where did the snow day go? But it was worth it. It was so good. And that game wasn't even really that good. No, it was yeah. just the, like, snow day aspect of it. Just sitting in front of the TV playing a game all day. And I'm a teacher, by the way, and that's pretty much all that I do during the summer. <sighs> What do I do? I you work. There. Yeah, yeah, that's terrible. Those boards to me are fine, but you really don't do any of that. This music is so good. Also, I remember on a snow day, just getting like sleds and finding, I mean, we lived in like a semi rural area, like where- Not we as in me and Chris, but him and Like I did. And you could just go into the woods and find like a decent slope and sled down it, like, and try to avoid hitting a tree as you're sledding. And <laughs> try to avoid a tree. Yeah, I remember like finding a really good area and we would get so fast and go down it. I'm surprised I don't have like a brain injury from that. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Oh my god. Is that it? I mean, would have been worth it though. Do you know the story? I think you do, but I'll share with our fans of when I threw all of our one bot fans yeah. or like our zero fans. How can I get that? I think you need it. Get it. Um, when I was younger, I was living in Greece also known as the Ukraine, and... Which we just, oh, oh my god. god. And I was in... Don't worry, I just... Retribution. I was in a playground. Oh, god. Retribution. Yeah, from the snakes, not from the jumping blue monster. The Kremlin. They're my people. <laughs> so I was in a playground and I um, thought that I was being really clever by throwing a rock upwards into the baseball net, or sorry, baseball net, the basketball net. Like I was standing underneath the basketball net and I was throwing the, um, the rock up, like straight up is what I thought. And so what I was thinking was going to happen, it was just going to go up and come straight down. But I didn't realize that it, like my body naturally threw it at, in an arc backwards. And so I ran so I didn't get hit by the rock, the giant rock. And then I ran back like to half court and ended up throwing the rock all the way back to half court and it landed right on my head. I didn't know that. You don't know the story? No. The triangle rock hit my net, my head, and then I went like this at some point, because I felt weird, and I went like this, and my heart, my hand was entirely red. I didn't know this. And my parents like were like, oh, you're fine, here's some Windex. <laughs> Wait, Ukrainians do that? No, Greek. Oh, okay. I always thought that these graphics were ridiculous. The fish! The, Those the, fish. Not the fish, the background. The way the front layer yeah, I moves mean, with the back if layer. If you look at the fish, when they squiggle, they like... <gasps> when the fish squiggle, the, There's the a thing shadow there, changes. There? Look at the shadow changing on them. I, mean, I don't have LASIK, so... Oh, I'm gonna go down here because the banana is telling me. <laughs> I think after this board, we need to call it a night. Because we have a big so, day too. tomorrow. What's the big day? We're going to that one, um, the uh, waterfall. We have to go hiking. Yeah, the hike. Oh my god. 
Get Eduardo again. Eduardo. On guard, whatever. So anyway, we're going to a... Uh, we're going to a waterfall tomorrow. But to get there, we have to hike like five miles. Oh, well. Those sharks always looked really good and cute, too. I think they were really cute. I like that's cute, a good... like what? Sexually attractive? No, cute like the bear. Okay, so let's just tie this all up in a nice bow. The bear that was using the dainty, and if you didn't watch, go back and watch the beginning of this stream. The bear that was looking through the dainty picnic basket is as cute as the shark in... The hammerhead shark is in Donkey Kong Country. In Donkey Kong Country. I could see that. And subscribe to our feed. We're going to do this occasionally. Probably next Friday, I would say, at the same time. Maybe same Saturday. Like tomorrow, Saturday? Or the next Saturday? I mean, we'll see how hot it is. Yeah, it's it depends on, like... hell right now, and we have to go to bed. Yeah. this heat. So, here's our Airstream. I'm just zooming out. So, here we are. That's our door. And that's it. Thank you, viewer, for watching. Or any future viewers. All zero of you. Or any bots. If you have any personality, thank you. Yeah. We like bots, too. So we'll do this. Actually, now you can see our full airstream. We do like bots. Yeah, look at this crazy door. It's this was one of our first purchases, this thing. For the Airstream. And it's still alive. I can't yeah. believe it. Okay, we're going to be going now. Yeah. Thank you all for tuning in, and hopefully you subscribe, and you can catch us next week when we do this again. Yep.